You ever heard the expression, a mind is a terrible thing to waste? In this video, I'm about to tell you why that's 100% accurate. Blessings and love, kings and queens. Blessings and love. Praying that this message is reaching you in the best of health while I'm sending you my blessings and love. Because somebody woke up dead today, and it most definitely was not you. It was not you. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face. It's still hard to realize you had to leave this place. For us to one day reunite, be my saving grace. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it's hard to keep. I'm on a mission to do whatever it takes to live the life of my dreams. And I want to help other people live the life of their dreams as well. So click the subscribe button and grow with me as I document my dream saving journey. Blessings and love, kings and queens. Blessings and love. Praying that this message is reaching you in the best of health. Well, I'm sending you my blessings and love because somebody woke up that today and it most definitely was not you. <laughs> it was not you. So, yeah, they say a mind is a terrible thing to waste. And I used to always think that that was, you know, just cliche, hearsay, whatever it was. But now in my new walk of life, in, in my rebirth, I now get how true and how accurate that statement is and why it is very important that you understand the same. I'm going to tell you a quick story and I'm going to make this quick and sweet. So my son and I was on a train on yesterday. No, Sunday, actually. My son and I was on a train a couple of days ago going on a train ride and I was about to close my eyes and take a nap. A uh, parent of four, you know, we got to get our naps when we can. So I was about to close my eyes and get a nap and I'm just overhearing what my son is, you know, watching on, on YouTube. He's watching YouTube shorts. And I noticed that it was like just not the best, like uplifting content. The content wasn't bad. It wasn't like degrading or anything like that. It was just mindless content. So it made me think. And I posed a question to my son, just asking him to think about the things that he was putting into his brain. Because I wanted him to know that, you know, you are what you eat. And that doesn't just go for food, that goes for what you're feeding yourself. You know what I mean? So, I just wanted, you know, him to know the importance of the things that he was feeding himself and about, you know, what it was doing to his brain and what it was doing to his mind. So I posed a question. I asked him to think about my son's 10 years old. I asked him to think about what the 15 year old version of himself would be doing. What does he want to do for the 13 year old version of himself? And I asked him to think about it. And I explained to him that as you're thinking these things in your mind, that's where everything starts at. Everything starts in your mind, in your head, in your brain. So I told him to really think about it, really picture it, really envision it. And I told him that the power of your mind is what's going to make that actually come into a reality. Because once you think about these things, once you visualize these things, it's going to force your brain to start telling you what you need to do to make these things happen. It's going to give you ideas about things you can do to bring that into existence. And the stronger your brain is, the more capacity you have in your brain, the better the ideas you will come up with, the, the stronger you can cook these things up. But if you have a weak mind, you have a fickle mind and it's full with nonsense, it's not going to be able to produce the answers that you need to create the life that you want. So I just wanted to give you that. That is a life hack right there. That is a, a hack about how to really manifest. It's not just about thinking about the things and visualizing the things is actually having the brain strength to come up with the plan or idea to bring these things into fruition. And I needed help to get that. I didn't have it right away. I've always had grand ideas, big ideas, but the actual steps, the actual blueprints to create those ideas and bring them into existence, I didn't have the, the brain power to do so. So it took me some learning. It took me some skill sets that I had to get and other things that I had to go about. So I'm really grateful and really thankful for my younger years in life when I was a studious person, when I was very into learning, because we all are into learning. It's just about learning the things that interest us. Unfortunately, in school, we learn a lot of things that have nothing to do with our well-being, nothing to do with how to just live the life that we want to live. We're force fed and taught things that really have no correlation to us. So therefore, our interest in it isn't as high as, you know, it should be or it could be. And I learned this later in life that it's not about what you learn. It's just the ability to learn. Of course, we would all love to learn interesting things, things that 
pertain to us, things that just are relevant, sort of say. But more so than what the curriculum is, it's just a matter of being able to learn the curriculum. And I say that to say it like this. The different styles of learning that you embed in your brain, the different techniques that you can use to learn different things will be valuable when you figure out what it is that you want to learn. When you figure out what it is that you want to do, all of those skills that you learned about researching, that you learned about cross-checking, cross-checking facts and how to just do different procedures and steps will now come into place now that you have a lane or an avenue that you want to put it towards. But it's going to really suck and it's going to really be miserable for you if you find something that you really love and you something that you really want to learn about. But now you don't have the techniques or the skill sets to go about learning these things. It may even deter you from wanting to do that or build that or become that what you desire to do because it's the, the beginning stages is so hard. It's so frustrating just to learn. So I encourage you, I encourage you students, I encourage you adults, I encourage you all human beings in all walks of life. It's not about what you learn, it's about how you learn it. Because that power is going to be what helps you create and build the life of your dreams. It all starts in your brain, it all starts in your mind, it all starts in your head. So the more powerful this computer is, the more data you have in this computer, the more resources you can tap into in this computer, the better it can operate to build what you're trying to program it to build hopefully y'all picking up what i'm putting down i didn't want to be in front of y'all long i just wanted to drop that little tidbit on you and let you know a mind is a terrible thing to waste i love y'all all All day every day and every time zone out blessings and love kings and queens blessings and love praying that this message is reaching you in the best of health while i'm sending you my blessings and love because somebody woke up dead today, and it most definitely was not you. It was not you. Every time I close my eyes, I see your face. It's still hard to realize you had to leave this place. For us to one day reunite, be my safe and grace. I ain't gonna lie, sometimes it's hard to kill. I'm on a mission to do whatever it takes to live the life of my dreams. And I wanna help other people live the life of their dreams as well. So click the subscribe button and grow with me as I document my dream saving.